Well, 343 has listened to the community and we have a big update coming for Halo Infinite that reverts a lot of the weapon jamming issues, skill jumps returning, and big changes to last Spartan standing, and a whole lot more. So let's just dive right into it. No intro today, too much news, we gotta get into it right now. So the first thing they talk about is the weapon jamming issue that's currently going on in Halo Infinite. And they just basically, what they're doing is reverting the changes back to where it was before the update of Season 2 so they get this fixed quicker in people's hands because this is a huge bug in Halo Infinite right now that's like directly affecting your gameplay experience. That's a huge issue. I can't believe this was actually passed through the update, but glad to see that they're reverting this. We'll probably see a change when it comes to the rapid fire issue, which they talked about previously is why they added in this uh, trigger dead zone kind of thing. So glad to see that's being fixed. Uh, big thing, oh, map traversal, skill jumps coming back in the game, at least the most popular ones that we know of. We have the live fire, key door and house panel jumps right there. We also have bizarre double door jumps, which are gonna be great. We also have the Aquarius P side edges, which some minor adjustments that they mentioned within this. And also my personal favorite, the streets pizza jump is coming back. And they state that the live fire, bizarre and streets jumps are gonna be coming back one to one, just how they were just as it shipped six months ago. Well, there are gonna be some changes to the Aquarius P side jump. If you guys don't know, there is ability where you can land on a very specific bit of geometry that's kind of hidden on the map that makes it so you don't have to clamber up to the P side. Very advantageous thing. And they stated right here that the collision on the Aquarius jumps should now be more predictable in addition to some added pipes which aim to more clearly indicate the collision and traversal mechanics. So it sounds like this jump has actually got a little Little bit easier and more visually available for you to tell like where exactly you need to jump which i think is kind of like what the whole purpose of removing these jumps were they also go into details throughout this blog if you want to go into the link in the description down below why they removed these jumps as basically they state that they are not very obvious bits of traversal that can create a skill gap that might be a little unfair to people who don't spend time studying the maps watching youtube videos which is understandable most of the map traversal you want to have is be to be very clear and obvious for the player to be able to do that uh, but also these are very cool skill jumps that require some bit of risk and reward to be able to do these things and skill jumps have always been a thing within a halo game so it's great to see that come back especially since the movement in halo infinite was certainly reduced compared to halo 5 so having these skill jumps return back in i really like seeing that come back in but it seems like we might have some changes coming forward when it comes to these types of skill jumps as well saying moving forward we're hoping to balance the double door jumps in bizarre the skill required from side to side varies widely. That's very true. Uh, what the balance looks like, uh, what level of difficulty those jumps retain, and what level of visual communication is necessary to all questions we hope to answer in the very near future. So I think this might not just be just for the double door jumps when it comes to the bazaar, but I think just the jumps in general when it comes to Halo Infinite, where I think they might be able to find a way to maybe add some form of geometry or some kind of visual cues on the map. So you can clearly see things like the double door jumps, where you can clearly see things like the pizza jump on streets and things like that. Awesome, awesome, awesome news. I mean, I'm actually genuinely excited about this. The tank gun has found its way back to Outpost Tremones. That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo yes, the tank gun is returning the glitch as they refer to it as. I'm pretty sure that's more just kind of leftover dev content that found its way in the official release is coming back within this update. Now, a lot of other changes when it comes to speed running tactics is also mentioned in here. Saying that the reason why a lot of them were removed is because they're closely intertwined with the work they've been doing in preparation for co-op. Now, how that actually happens, maybe it bugs up the other person's game or something like that. There might be some issues when it comes to these various speed run tactics or might like corrupt someone else's save or something like that. So I wish they would kind of dive more into the details about that because from what our end, we just see that they just don't want it. But it sounds like they have some actual reasoning why I would like to see that reasoning, but we're just not getting that within this update for some odd reason. And now we have a ton of other various changes when it comes to the season two update that are coming in as well. We have more PC stability improvements, which is great. Also, based on community feedback, equipment pods and last Spartan standing will now feature all equipment rather than just 
camo and overshield, which I'm very excited about that. I think that's gonna really freshen up and liven up the gameplay quite a bit. I really like that change. I was also saying that the Rakshasa armor core leg when using body types one and two will now look as intended as we covered in the previous video it's kind of bugged right now where it's kind of like shifted for some reason in the campaign side of things there was a collected cores fix right there because some people were not tracking properly it looks like that's been addressed it also says addressed a rare issue of preventing players from capturing the zone in king of the hill i saw this as well where someone had like a 300 kill game because the zone would just not capture which is pretty hilarious also on bizarre the overshield will now spawn at the start of the match like how it was in season one because right now in season two it takes about a 30 second delay very similar to what we have like on live fire so i actually like that change we'll see if that do the same thing for btb pelican vehicle drops will match their pre season two frequency and type which I like that. I've been playing BTB recently and I almost n hardly ever see a Pelican drop coming into the game. And also that we don't really see much in the way of like other types of vehicles. So hopefully we get some good stuff dropping right there. Also the Wasp respawn timers on high power will also be brought in line with season one timers. I've definitely seen that Wasp way too many times in BTB. Glad to see that's being changed. Also in BTB, fire team color markers should be applied to your matchmaking fire team again. Great to hear about that as well and also disabling speed lines should function as intended thank god i am so happy to see those speed lines being removed i really don't like them in my halo infinite gameplay so i'm glad to see that's going to be helped out a lot uh but currently there is no date right now for this update saying there's still a few steps we need to take before we can release this out into the wild we'll share more about this when we get specific dates within the next few days or so so that is about all what's going on with this update right now, guys. A lot of really good changes. I'm quite happy about it. Let me know in the comment section down below what your thoughts are on a lot of these changes as well. The tank gun's coming back, baby. Woo, yeah, baby. But if you're new to the channel, miss any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got linked to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you all on the next one. Peace out.